Hello everybody, I'm Kayden. I'm Lindsay. And we're Adventures of a Stormtrooper. And we're in the car instead of doing the uh, intro at the event because it's a Tuesday night. So I just got done with work. Lindsay just got done with work. And we're on our way to Appleton today for an event, a community event in Appleton. It's called National Night Out. And it's to encourage strong relationships between the community and law enforcement. So we are going to the Fox Crossing Police Department today for the event and they're gonna have food trucks, games, activities, inflatables, all designed to encourage the public to engage with the police department. So it's all about forming good relationships with our local law enforcement. So that's where we're heading today. And we've got Chewbacca in the car today and Lindsay's just gonna follow me around with the camera she's handling today. So we're gonna have a great day. It is currently 82 degrees and that's not a desirable number when you're wearing fur but that's okay it's good for everybody else so we're gonna have lots of fun so we're excited to go on this after work trooping adventure so come along with us pew 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 so usually i do my makeup at work at work ah, i was just at work no, I didn't want to do my makeup at work, so I'm doing it in the car because we had to leave right from Lindsay picking me up to go to the event because I got done with work at 2.30 in the event. We had to be there to get ready at 4 and we got to eat. Yeah, so usually I do this at home in the bathroom mirror, but the couple times a year that we do events after work, I do it in a car. This key to putting on eyeliner in the car is not to stab yourself in the eye. Not funny over there. Lindsay's laughing at me. You try getting real close to your eye and not stabbing yourself in the eye in the car. No. Now you could be thinking to yourself, why don't you do it when you get there? Well, you get talking with people and you get you know what? I don't like to be rushed. I'm one of those that shows up really early to things because I don't like to be rushed. So that's why I do it ahead of time because I feel like makeup's kind of putzy. And it's not something you want to rush. So but then you stick yourself in the eye. Or get eyeliner all over your contact. I did that the last time. So there's some fun makeup tips from Kaden in the car. Yay! So you might think to yourself, yes. I said we were stopping for dinner after I did my makeup and you're like, well that's going to be weird. You're going to go in with two black eyes. No, the key is you don't take your sunglasses off and then you don't show. So if you see someone in a 501st shirt or a Rebel Legion shirt and they're wearing their sunglasses inside, mind your own business. It probably means they're hiding some sort of makeup they don't did, pre-did. Pro tip. Wear the sunglasses. Especially when you go into the bathroom on the highway on the way down, people will judge you for walking into a gas station with black makeup. I agree. And it's happened because I didn't do, I, I had to learn the, the pro tip of sunglasses. So we finally arrived at the Fox Cr Crossing Community Center and that's where we're going to change today. Looks like the the park where we're going to be for the event will be over there. That way they have like the blow up stuff set up right over there. So, so now it's time to go get changed. Lindsay's concentrating so hard and trying to ignore me. It's not working. <laughs> My persistence is inevitable. <laughs> I cannot be ignored. You're a dork. I know. <laughs> Today's changing area is a classroom that they use to teach CPR in. So the CPR class got done before us and now we're we're changing in here. We like classrooms, lots of tables. We love classrooms. We don't have to share. Chewbacca does I mean everybody doesn't have to share. Mostly <laughs> Chewbacca doesn't share well, neither does Phasma. My stormtrooper shares nicely. Yeah. The other two are they're divas. They are. But we accept it. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Chewbacca is a, he's a prima donna. He deserves it. Okay, I'll take your word. 
Lindsay didn't want to do much talking today, so I'm going to do a voiceover since she wasn't very talking. But here we are walking out to the event, and we've got the inflatables and lots of booths. And then the police and the fire department and ambulances were all there to look through and have the kids walk through. And then I got to chat with the police officers for a little bit and they had a lot of fun. Thankfully, they didn't inspect my satchel because who knows what they would have found some smuggled goods in there. What you thinking? All of it? Okay. I'll get you one of everything. Yeah. Very hungry? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I know it's so hard to choose. Everything looks good. Yeah. Yep. All of it? Okay. I'll get all of it for you guys. Yep. <laughs> I'd just like to say it's really cool to see these emergency vehicles from the height of 7'3 because they're really not designed for someone that tall so you get like a different perspective on them so I was really having fun checking out all the different vehicles today. There were also like three kids in there that I was talking to. You gonna race them? Yeah. Ship Falcon versus McQueen? Yeah. I think you would win. Yep. <laughs> Chewie was checking out to see if the DeLorean gets the same mileage as the Falcon. Seeing if the hyperdrive is about the same, or I don't really know, Back to the Future, so I don't know if it's called the hyperdrive, but we're checking out the statistics. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Stop making Herbie mad. <laughs> He's gonna do it again. He's mad at you. He's mad at you. <laughs> oh. Back away slowly. Well, no offense to the police department, but the fire department was definitely my favorite. But fire trucks have always been my favorite. I actually almost thought about being a firefighter when I was younger, but they let me put the hat on top of Chewbacca, and that that was over the moon awesome. I've put the their jacket on at a different event on top of my stormtrooper, but definitely a firefighter Chewy is a definitely a better look. <laughs> yep, you need to you need to polish this helmet. Yep. Looks good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you have some pork in your teeth? Yeah. Oh, he's sitting right by my gear. Awesome. <laughs> you fit perfectly in the medical bay. 
<laughs> How many do you want? Five? <laughs> Wouldn't you get a brain freeze? No? You're hot? Yeah. It would cool you down. But what flavor would you get? The, there's tiger's blood, lucky lime, blue raspberry, watermelon wave, groovy grape, grape, you would get grape. Is that your favorite? Yeah. Oh, he wants yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, yep. <laughs> I know, it won't be quiet. Well, that was the national night out with the police force and the fire department, and we got the EMS involved. We had a lot of fun with all of them, the fire department. We were a good time. <laughs> And thank you, Officer Dan, for inviting us. He's the community officer here for the Fox Cross, Fox Cross, Fox Crossings, Appleton Police Department area. And he's a great time. He did a wonderful job with all his events. They did a really cool thing. They like, they even had a firefighter volunteer to be tased as a demonstration. I mean, that's a commitment to showing people friendly police force. So. And they're having a kickball tournament right now, so we kind of snuck away while they're doing their kickball tournament. They had all sorts of thought. This was a fun time. Uh, we hope they invite us back again next year. So thanks for coming along on our national night out with the police officers of Fox Crossing. Thank you. Thanks for coming along on our adventure. Bye! Bye.